Hi, my name is Kelvin Owens and I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm going to do an easy and simple flyer using Photoshop. All I want you to do is just follow very closely today. So now I'll choose my background, a dark blue, violet, however you see, I see it as blue, I don't care how you see it. <laughs> and I'll use an overlay that I got on the net. So I'll be putting it in my telegram if you need it, you copy it out there. I was also posting some of the links beneath the description. So I'll now give it a little Gaussian blur around 40. I think 40 pixels will be okay. So 40, yeah. And then I make the blend into an overlay. I think an overlay will be better. Yes, yes, very tacky. That's how I want it. So now we add our text. But first I have to rename it. To seem professional <laughs> which i'm not i am but i'm not yeah you know what i mean so i add my text so this is for an impact service um this is a service i attend every tuesday if you want to join me one day one day you come to ghana we will be there for you impact service so impact is bold it's big you know impact so I always try to represent it with something bold, neat, and nice, you understand? This is very simple. If you say you're going to follow this tutorial, I believe you are going to be awesome at this. So with the width, I'll change the font into a Garfield Signature. Signature, one of my favorite fonts right now. I like, I like Signature fonts. It's cool. It's like I, and I think as you're watching it, I think you also like it. I mean, I've said it. Oh. So I'll just I'll add the name of the pasta now. To see professional once again, I'm just putting the main text into one folder. <laughs> so. The way I do my designs is that I freestyle a lot and before I do a tutorial I've already done one already. So um it makes it very easy to flow. This is not the normal rate I used to do the first one. The first one took me some time. No, just to generate ideas. I didn't I don't just go into designs creating like this. I create it, you know, I create it. And I study the process and after that I come to recreate. And even in the post-production, I also chop up some 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 delays. I speed up some stuff. So if you see that it's eight minutes, it doesn't mean it took me eight minutes. It can take me eight minutes. It can even take me less since I've done it twice. You understand? So the more you do something, the more you are able to easily replicate it. You understand? So I use this tone paper I downloaded from Freeject. I'll leave a link in the description. And I gave it an overlay, a white overlay, color overlay. Yeah, so I position the way I want it. And one thing I've also learned is that if you really want to learn something, you just have to learn how to steal. And still good. <laughs> I'm a Christian, but I'm not saying go and still steal. But Still the process. Um, so I've created an ellipse too, and I'm creating a stroke around it, not too thick, but in between, so that it can be more, you know, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Everybody loves it. So Tuesday, I'm using Montserrat for this, as I use for the Reverend Joshua teaching one. So let me go back to what I was saying. I think the best way you can learn as a designer is to steal. Not in the sense of oh, sending or anything, but look at other people's projects and make sure you try your best to replicate it. That's the only way. When you see something and it's nice, try to do it in your own way and see how it will turn out. And trust me, in art, every mistake is a new style. Don't act like you don't know this. You know this already. But sometimes you feel, some, most of us feel too lazy to do it. But you know, the more you do, the more you become an expert. And I want to say another thing. 
So when I started designer first, well, I was doing free, 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 free. But it bothered me that I didn't get money for my design. But I didn't understand why I was still doing it for people. But not knowing that as I was doing it, doing the free works, like they were, they were like my practice sessions. I could make all the mistakes I, I would have done because it was free. They can't do me anything because so I was able to use their briefs as a way for me to you know practice and be perfect. So as you're watching this, I'm just encouraging you. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, oh, hey, this guy is gonna preach us. I'm here for a tutorial. No, I'm not here to preach you. I'm here to tell you that practice is the, is the way to go. And one thing you have to do is that learn to steal from other artists, learn to replicate the work of other people. That's all I'm saying. So let's go back into the tutorial as we are ending. So here I just duplicated what I did with the Tuesday and 4th July and then placed my time and then my location in them. That's what I like to do. I don't like to replace stuff. I like to copy, paste, <laughs> That's me, bro. That's me. How about you? So hopefully, when you, as I've said this, if you are able to replicate this, please send it to my telegram. You can DM me straightforward on IG. Let me see how you are also able to replicate this in your own way. Use a different background, you can use a different text. You can you can change something about this. But I want to see what you come up with. DM me at iKelvin always on Instagram and everywhere. Trust me, I'm everywhere. On your shoulder. Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your heart. I bet my life on your stars, you'll be dancing. I don't have anything to say. Let's all just watch together and see how all this goes. Yeah. So when I bought this, I put it in a group so that I can easily identify it. So I give it a color overlay, which is white, of course. I didn't change the colors again. I use white and blue here. So most of the time, when you have, uh, unless you use the transform to move certain stuff on in the group, because you have selected layer at the top. So when you ch you check group, you're able to move things more easily. But when it's layer, you have to make sure that it's in the transform mode for you to be able to move it. I hope you understand me. If you don't, you understand. The more, the more you use Photoshop, you understand. So these are the rulers I use to align my work to see whether it's actually centered or I was deceiving my eyes thinking it was centered. Okay, I'm gonna add my logo, final touches. I think I'm done. What do you think? Yeah, I'm done. I have nothing else to do. So, thank you for watching. I have been Kelvin Owens. Um, you can follow me on IG, Facebook, whatever. And please do well to comment and subscribe. I would love for your support. I would love your support so, so much. And I would much appreciate it. Thank you and God bless you. Stay creative. Thank you.